There we go. Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nell Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. We back for another vlog, y'all. Check it. I'm doing something dumb today. I'm doing something dumb, so expect dumb stuff to happen in this video, in this episode, okay? There's about a 99% chance of thunderstorms and torrential rains, okay? But guess where I'm at? Surfside Jetty. That's right. Why are you at the Surfside Jetty, Ray Because I'm dumb. I told you that. Aren't you listening? But listen, man, I think there's like a three hour window. A three hour window of this calm before the storm, right? The winds are blowing like 20 south. Water's going over the jetty right now, okay? So why am I here? I think this is great red, bull red and jack weather. I got some new gear. I'll talk about it later if I can, and unless I die. And that's it, man. My goal today is to catch a jack or bull red before this huge storm that's already here kills me. I think I can do it. <laughs> Enjoy the vlog, y'all. Lego. All right, let's talk about gear, baby. One backpack, one scooter, one rod and reel. Let's talk about the rod and reel, man. So my boy, Gigi Angler, right? You know, Gigi Angler, you know, he's been known to catch a large fish here and there, right? I give him that. Although he looks like he's 12 years old, his credibility of catching large fish is legit. So he got me on some new gear on what I can get, or what I should get. So I went to Bass Pro Shop, and I picked up a, this is a offshore, yeah, offshore angler, nine foot power stick rod, right? Nice, man, I ain't gonna lie, it's nice. Although it's nine foot, it's super light. In addition, GG also convinced me to buy a Saragossa Shimano 6000. Apparently this combination is a powerhouse. We'll see, man. Um, I know one thing, if I don't catch a bull red or a jack with this setup, I'm returning it and GG. Putting my foot in your <sighs> alright y'all once again time is like 7 30 I think this huge storm is coming in at 10 so I got two and a half hours to get it done in horrible conditions I'm looking over there at the jetty the water's just busting over maybe down there towards the end I have no clue how I'm gonna get this done I just know on a lot of people's jetty videos is that when I see them catching jetties, the water is always rough, terrain is rough, everything looks rough. To me, this looks like jetty kind of weather, even though it's the summer. So we'll see. We'll see if I can get it done with my one rod, one reel, 90 pound backpack in horrible weather. The good thing is, if the weather does get bad, the scooter can go 15 miles an hour. I'll be back at the truck in a minute. All right, let's get them boots on. Oh yeah, this dude is definitely on. See if I can help him. What's up, bro? Think you gonna need some help? Oh, yeah. Alright, hold on. Alright. Gotcha. Oh, that's a nice one. Let's see what I can do, bro. Um, I got spikes on, so it might oh. be a little bit careful for me. Although, hold on. Don't All right. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Oh, you got a great hook set, bro. You got that? I got it. I got you. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Appreciate it, man. Congratulations, man. What's you working on? Cut bait. Mold, mold. 
All right, did our good deed of the day with the help of land that bull red. I want to go ahead and head down towards the end. I can always come back this way because, like I said, um, we got our scooter, man, so we're mobile. Ain't nothing but a thing. Mother. Nothing but a thing but a chicken wing, baby. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Now, this part of the jetty is super bumpy. I'm not sure how my tires can handle it. I don't know, man. They're soaking baits. I'm only be the only person out here throwing lures, apparently. I think my scooter can handle this. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, scooter. Oh, oh, oh. Water's coming over here. I don't know. It's kind of rough over here, y'all. Breakers. Oh, no. Ugh. Oh, wow. Look at that water, y'all. So there's only one person down here towards the end. So obviously, he must be crazy like I am. We can be um, crazy brothers together. Um, all right, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, so look, check it out, y'all. I'm picking out this spot. Flat level ground, right? I have on spike boots, but that don't mean I can't die. It gives me a nice solid ground to run around if I get hooked up on. If I get my jumper red, that swell is going down about three to four feet. So if I get it, I can catch a swell and try to catch it with my net. All right. It's hard fishing by yourself. I need friends, but at the same time, I'm, I'm anti-social, so there's that. Let me get set up. Let's get to work. Got this, Raynell. Let's go. I'll show how my drag, eh, feels good. All right, first cast with the, first cast with the off, offshore power stick. Offshore power stick with Shimano 6000. I don't want to do it too hard. I kind of let it, you know, do its thing. The water is crazy, but this to me looks like really good weather, bro, for big fish. So Jeezy said that with this Shimano 6000, Shimano 6000, I can never remember the name, but Saragossa, that when I'm bringing in this three ounce spoon, I won't even be able to really feel it. And he's right, you really can't feel it. The rod is super light, even though it got a lot of backbone, so I'm happy about that. Good job, Gigi. Good job. Risk it for the biscuit. I'm out here fishing like Dresser fishing. I'm just tossing it out, letting it hit the bottom. It's kind of bouncing up and down. See if we can entice something. Where you at, Reds? Whoa, whoa. That was a big wave. We good. Bag still intact. Camera still there. Watch some waves, y'all. There we go. You saw I see that. Nope. Time to go. Time to go. 
Y'all all right? Nope. All right, y'all, we gotta, we about to relocate. We almost lost the GoPro, camera. Y'all all right? You all right? I know, I know. Sorry about that, y'all. We're about to relocate a little farther down because it is too crazy over here. All right, y'all, so we relocated to a more safer spot where these breakaways won't be coming over. I did take a wave to my scooter and after that wave, I'm getting an error message now. So there we go. Gotta love saltwater fishing. Where y'all at? Come on. Come on, Jack. Come on, Bull Red. It's got goosebumps. I can feel it coming, y'all. Got goosebumps. I can feel it coming. Come back, Scooter. Come on. Super annoying, bro. Took away. Alright. Alright, y'all. So, it's been about uh, 7 30 8 30 about an hour and a half about 50 casts no bites yet i think the storm is coming in about an hour kind of see it off here to the distance to the left which will not not been a problem being i had a scooter that can travel 15 miles an hour before the scooter took a damn roll wave and now so air message so now it's a dead weight to me Throw the damn scooter in the water, use it as a spider weight. So the waves at the end of the city are absolutely insane right now. Um, I'm happy with my, my gear. The new rod and reel, beautiful. You're looking out, GJ. Great, great suggestion, man. So once the fish are here, I'm gonna be ready, prepared 100%. I just don't think I'm gonna catch anything today. I don't got that much time left. I gotta start working my way back to my truck because my scooter's broke.